Hi everyone, it's Tutorials by A here, and today I'll be showing you how to create this really cool Otter Track bracelet. This bracelet was created by at the Chicken on Fire on Instagram, and he showed me how to make this bracelet, and now I'm giving you guys the tutorial. So, anyways, before we get started, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And now, without further ado, let's get started. So today you will need any type of loom. You can also use a monster tail to make this bracelet. At the time of filming, I'm not too sure whether I'll be posting a monster tail tutorial for this bracelet, but it will be linked down in the description box below if I do happen to make one. You will also need a hook. I'm using a rainbow loom metal tip hook today. This isn't a very high stress bracelet, so you don't necessarily need an, a metal hook for this. You'll also need a C-clip to hold your bracelet together and about 80 bands. I'll be using the rainbow loom electric glove bands in blue as well as the Ramboloom.com online exclusive silicone neon yellow bands and I especially love these because the stretch is pretty good as you can see and it holds the size of the band pretty well so anyways all my supplies today are from Ramboloom.com and now without further ado let's get started Okay, so we're going to start with our looms, arrows pointing uh, down, not up, I almost said up. I feel like my lighting is kind of weird, I don't know, I feel like the beginning part had weird lighting too, but anyways, we're going to start off by taking our first color and we're going to place it vertically here, and then take your second color and place it vertically over here. So you just want to place those two vertically. Then we are going to grab the far side of the band right here, and we're going to pull it across here. So as you can see I'm pulling it across and then as you place it onto this pin in the middle you want to twist it. It doesn't matter which direction you twist it, just like that. So now we're going to do the same thing to the right side. You're going to grab the far, this far side right here, pull it across the center and then I'm going to twist it onto this middle pin here, just like that. So it doesn't really matter how you get this twisty triangle as long as you achieve this triangle that has the twisted ends on all uh, three points. It doesn't matter how you get that. Just make sure you've got the twists. So now we're going to take our hook and we're going to go to the center pin and you're just going to grab this bottom layer here and pull that over just like that. So now we're going to add another band to the left side and you're going to put that on those three pins there. And then after that, we are going to hook over the bottom layers on these three pins. So it doesn't matter the order that you hook these as long as they all get hooked. I'm just going to start in the middle, grabbing the bottom band and pulling over. Then on this pin here, grabbing the bottom band, and I'm going to pull that over. And then on this top pin here, you kind of got to go through the sides. So you can either go through here or you can go through this side here. But you're just going to grab that bottom band here and pull that over. Make sure you haven't gone inside of any bands to grab the bottom band. So last time we added the triangular band on the left, we're going to do it on the right this time. And again, you're just going to grab the bottom layer and pull over. So like I said, don't go inside of the top layer. Make sure you're staying on the outside, grabbing the bottom band and pulling over. Grabbing the bottom layer here and pulling over. And it is as easy as that. You're going to continue that for the entire length of the bracelet. So you're going to alternate size left, right, left, right. So left is the next band that we put on. And we're going to hook over all the three bottom layers here. So whatever pins have two layers on them, you're just going to grab the bottom layer and get rid of that by pulling it over the pin and letting go. So over. And I'm just going to go in through here. To grab this band but you can also go through here right here it's just that I'm kind of blocking the camera when my hand is in that kind of angle there but so now we finished the left side we're gonna do the right side now put that on all three pins and then you're just gonna grab the bottom layer and pull over on whatever pins have three layers I mean two layers on them bottom layer pull over do the left side now and then again hook over the bottom layer there is a little bit more tension on this pin than the other pins, so just be careful with that, but it's not a whole lot of tension. And I'm just going to go in through the top here, but basically you want to pull this band over like that. So you just did the left side, going to do the right side now. Just going to hook over the bottom layer on all three of these. Again, it doesn't matter the order in which you hook the bands as long as they all get hooked. So 
do the left side here, bottom layer, over, bottom layer, pull over, and bottom layer here, pull over. So you're going to have your bracelet start to grow out through the top here, and it's going to grow outwards that way, just to let you know. And again, bottom layer, pull over, bottom layer, pull over, bottom layer, pull over. It's a little trick in case you forget what band you're supposed to put on. As you can see on the middle pin, we've got a yellow band there, meaning that the next band we put on is going to be a blue band. So when you put that on, you should have two different colors of layers here if you're using a two color pattern like I am. So that's just a little tip in case you ever forget what band you're supposed to put on next. So again, pull all the bottom three layers over. Put on your next band and pull the bottom layer over on each one of these. Just like that. So my bracelet is starting to grow here and after you get a long enough little swatch here you want to make sure you give it a tug because the bands can get scrunched up and you don't want to accidentally make it the right length for your wrist, stretch it out and have it be too big after that. So this is basically what mine looks like so far and it's going to continue growing outwards. So, as you can see, the process of making this bracelet is quite easy, and it goes quite quickly, for me at least. Some bracelets seem like they take forever, but I don't think this is one of those really time-consuming bracelets. So again, you're just going to keep pulling over the bottom layer. So I'm going to show you how to do this a couple more times, and just to save the video length so it's not super duper long and takes forever to upload, I'm going to go off camera after a little bit to finish off my bracelet. But again, you're only going to put the band on three pins and pull the bottom layer over. And there's a whole lot of variations you can make of this bracelet. Um, you can make, uh, make it so that there's more than two layers on each pin. You can switch up so that way it's reversible. And I will be posting a kind of uh, variation video soon with some of the variations you can make of this bracelet. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a tutorial for all of them, but I'll just show you what they look like and then you guys can request what ones you'd like tutorials made of. So yeah, so basically just keep pulling over those bottom layers. And I'll show you probably four more times. So here's the first time. Remember, three, three pins that the band is holding on to, and you're pulling over the bottom layer on those three pins. Next one we're going to add is this yellow one here on the right side, and you're going to grab this bottom band, pull over on all three pins. So I'm going to show you two more times. All three pins, bottom layer, pull over, bottom layer pull over and bottom layer pull over and this is the last time I'll be showing you so you put that one band on all three pins bottom layer pull over pull over and bottom layer pull over so basically this is what my bracelet looks like so far it looks super cool so anyways you're gonna go ahead and continue on making your bracelet until you've got your desired length again make sure you keep stretching it every now and then so that way you can keep measuring obviously this isn't long enough so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera to finish off my bracelet till it is at my desired length if you're still having trouble then please don't hesitate to go ahead and rewind the video and rewatch the previous instructions if you're doing great keep on making your bracelet and I'll be back to show you how to take this off of your loom. So I am now finished with the entire length of my bracelet as you can see and I'm going to show you how to take this off of your loom now. So I ended with my last band that I put on and hooked being the right side. So we're going to start off by grabbing this band here and you're going to take it off and place it onto the center pin. I'm not going to fold it over or anything. I'm just going to place it the same way that I picked it up if that makes any sense. Then I'm going to grab this band here and I'm just going to pick it up. I'm not folding this one over either. I'm just placing it onto the center pin just like that. So you should get something like this. And then now I'm going to pick up this band here and I am going to fold this one over. So I'm going to fold this like that. And then lastly we're going to grab this top right band here, pull this off and I'm going to fold this one over as well. Just like that. 
So after that, you're going to grab a band with whatever color you choose. We're just going to make a single chain link so that way we don't have a ton of bands on our C-clip. So I'm just going to place it on this pin right here and kind of push it over towards that pin. Then I'm going to go inside all of the bands in here, circle around and grab, sorry, and grab this band here. That was my phone. And place it onto this bottom pin here if I can get it on. There we go. So that way we've created a single chain link that holds onto all of the bands right here. After that, I am going to grab my C-clip and place all the bands that are on that pin, which is just two layers, onto the C-clip. And you can remove, ooh, pop the pin bar out there. Um, you can remove all of the stuff off of your loom, and then you have this right here. So uh, with my C-clip, I'm just going to attach it onto these two straight links right here as you can see. So I'm just going to slide those onto my C-clip here. Got one and then the other. There we go and we are now finished with our bracelet. And that is how you make the Auto Track bracelet. So anyways, big thanks to at the chicken on fire on Instagram for showing me this bracelet and how to make it as well. I'll have his Instagram username as well as all my social media links in the description box down below in case you're interested in checking those out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!